Hey guys, you know what? That was funny. I always say, hey guys. I need to come up with a better phrase. Otherwise, I'm going to make a compilation of me saying, hey guys. So, uh, as I said in uh, yesterday's video, uh, I planned to, to run. Uh, but this is not the first day of training. This run right here, I have my watch on, but I'm not looking at it. I have no clue how fast I'm going. I, I don't even know how far I'm going. That's fine. But I do only, only thing I know is I'm running and I'm going to Dude's Brewery to meet up with friends. <laughs> That's it. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, now we're good. I thought if I left, if I didn't bring up the uh, Garmin app, then it wouldn't give me audio prompts, but it just gave me a pace, pace thing in my, my, uh, hold on. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, we're back in business. Yeah, so my Gar, I, I thought if I didn't bring up my Garmin app, it wouldn't give me my, uh, my pace. And as I was talking to you there, a uh, nice Garmin lady came in and told me I was going 835 of, uh, 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 pace so I went ahead and opened that up and turned that off so we will not be disturbed again uh, so what was I saying oh so you know I talked a little bit yesterday about obviously recovering is so important but you know not just physically recovering but you know mentally recovering as well and you know, giving myself sort of a mental break from the grind of of a you know program. I mean, obviously, first weeks, you know, first week is like exciting. You think about you know what you're going to be doing in in ten weeks, but eventually that starts to wear down. That gets old. You know, it's not such an exciting thing sometimes. You know. And I know a lot of runners that get burnt out, you know, and uh, you know, you also need to uh, repair, your, recover your spirit. So, uh, you know, one thing, maybe you had a bad race, maybe you had a good race, you know. Uh, I mean, that's where meditation for me comes in. I, I use that time to, you know, sort of self-analyze and go over uh, emotions and feelings that, you know, I have and, you know, sort of let them go. Don't become slave to my thoughts. Uh, I feel like I'm going too fast. I need to slow down. Okay. Just thinking about that beer. It's just getting me excited. Uh, yeah, so we're not in a rush. We're not in a hurry. So, since I got you here, I watched this video today about, there's all this talk about the uh, next percentage shoes that everyone, from Nike that everyone's wearing. And, uh, you know, how they might be giving, you know, an unfair advantage and all this stuff. And I watched this video from, uh, uh, I forget his last name, I want to say it's Simmons. But Nick from the guy who owns uh, Run Gum, where, you know, he tests them against another pair of popular shoes, forget which ones. Uh, you know, and he confirmed that they give you, uh, his heart rate was about two beats per minute slower with the Nikes over the, the other shoes. And, um, he jumped basically two inches higher with with them. Um, then he proceeded to cut them and cut them up to see, you know, because everyone goes, "Oh, it's got you know springs in them." You know, there's all these people that were like saying, "Oh, it's got two two plates that act as or two uh, carbon fiber." plates that act as a spring and 
uh, it turned out to be false. Uh, there is a lot of rubber in those shoes um, and one carbon fiber plate, essentially. So, you know, I mean, I think the talk of you know, trying to ban these shoes and stuff, I think that's a bit much. Uh, you know, right now Nike has built a better mousetrap and, you know, they're selling a lot of those sneakers. Uh, I mean, I have a pair of last year's model and they are night and day different than, uh, than the ones I'm wearing on now, which were where they were based on. So, how's it going? So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much definitive. You know, I mean, I don't think there's anything unique to stopping in the patent because he actually took the patent that was filed, you know, to confirm that there was nothing. Uh, that there was a nothing in those shoes that was you know on the up and up they just they have this really good fo uh, formula in the rubber and uh, the launch pad is uh, it goes the entire length of the shoe um, they are extremely light I mean mine versus these ones I have on right now were six ounces uh, lighter than than these so I mean when you look at that it doesn't seem like a lot but you know six ounces basically every three steps I was putting one pound less uh, on my feet than I was in my previous races when you take that and multiply that times anywhere from six, 60,000 to 67,000 steps, you know, I did rough math. That was 28,000 pounds over the course of a marathon. And my feet didn't have to move. I mean, it's a big difference. I mean, so I'm on team, you know, let's make the best possible shoes we can. Uh, let's celebrate any victories that come of it and uh you know it's not an unfair advantage you know because anyone can go and buy those shoes so uh yeah i think that's all i got for now i'm gonna hit, listen to some music and uh might might catch up with you guys later if i don't remember run positive and uh if you're watching this on youtube Go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, on Instagram. You know, go ahead and like it. Uh, till then, see you guys. Hey, all right, well, we made it. Dude's Brewery. Uh, I'm gonna go in there and say. So it's funny. Uh, originally, Matt said to, uh, you know, no watch. And when I was crossing my street, I, uh, I. Uh, turn my watch off and uh, didn't turn it on for like another mile and a half or so. All that time I was talking in the beginning, uh, my watch was off. So, yeah, whatever. It was about a mile, mile, maybe a mile, mile and a half or so. Uh, but I'm here. I'm gonna go have some beer. Uh, come on. <sighs> no taste yet? Yeah. We got this, this, this attractive lady. 